So hi and welcome to your CPE 6101 Computer Engineering as a Discipline. So today we'll be discussing um, week 3 to 4 Computer Engineering Application and Practice. Okay, so course learning outcomes. First, at the end of this module, the students are expected to identify the computer engineering duties and responsibilities. Next, learn the specialties of computer engineers. And last, appreciate the role of computer engineers in the society. So specialties of computer engineering. So there are two major specialties in computer engineering. So number one, we have the hardware. Computer hardware includes the physical tangible parts or components of a computer, such as the cabinet, central processing unit, monitor, keyboard, computer data storage, graphics cards, sound cards, speakers, and motherboard. And the next one is software. So by contrast, software is instructions that can be stored and run by hardware. Actually, example is an operating system um, or the OS, which is a system software that manages computer hardware and software resources and provides common services for computer programs. So nearly every computer program requires an operating system to function. So the two most common operating systems are Microsoft Windows and Apple Mac OS. Okay, next, computer software engineering. A computer software engineer is an expert at the theory of computing systems and designs and maintains software. So these engineers typically um, fall into two categories, okay? Number one is the computer application software engineer. So typically, uh, a, so a computer software engineer will work on a host of projects, um, including manufacturing, industry, government, and educational institution. Okay, so um, the application software engineers uh, designs and develop software applications, okay, such as um, utility, utility for programs, okay, um, and also general application software. So they work with the user to determine needs and create software to meet uh, user's needs. So um, they modify existing software to fix problems, optimize functioning, and enable its use of new hardware platforms. So they oversee installation of software systems as well as monitor the equipments. Um, they also perform testing and validation of software systems to ensure that applications work properly. Um, while, okay, while some computer application engineers design and produce commercially sold software suits, um, most design or customized applications for business or other organizations. Some application um, engineers design and analyze databases within a given application area. An emerging field is the game and application design for cell phones. Right? That's the most common. And also we have the MP3 players and other um, portable computers. Then application engineers uh, must also communicate with the systems analysts, um, engineers, and programmers to get information on the project limitations, performance requirements, and interfaces. Okay, so they con they consult with the clients in the design phase uh, to determine the client's needs. So after an application has been released, they help the customers with the maintenance issues. Then the next one is the computer system software engineer. So computer system software engineers um, make sure that the company systems within an organization are functional and meet all the needs of the users. Okay, so computer system um, software engineers, um, they conceptualize, okay? Design, construct, install, maintain and repair computer systems, okay? They advise the users um, regarding the technical directions of their 
computer systems um, based on their needs. So they may recommend making changes to an existing system, or they can or they can install an entirely new system. So in addition, computer system software engineers um, may be responsible for um, system security and data assurance, as well as the installations of the intranet. Um, during the development of a new system, computer system software engineer keeps documentation, okay, such as flowcharts, diagram, and reports. So they may also develop uh, performance requirements and specifications, conduct evaluations, observe usability studies, and direct programming. So these engineers occasionally refer to the stored data in order to analyze the system limitations, capabilities, and requirements. Okay, so usual tasks involving computer engineers includes, okay, first writing software and firmware for the embedded microcontrollers. Okay, so these are the, uh, these are, these things, or oh, this does not need um, uh, operating systems to, to, to work, okay? They have their uh, embedded microcontrollers. So you can see this in the, uh, the microwave, okay? The number two, designing VLSI chips and designing analog sensors. And number three, designing mixed signal circuit boards. And last, designing operating systems. So I have mentioned earlier, well, we have different types of operating system. So yung common natin is the um, uh, Windows. Okay, we have Windows 7, okay, 8, 11, and 10, and 10 and 11. So we have also the Mac OS X or the Mac OS. Then we also have um, the Linux, the Ubuntu, and even yung uh, mga OS natin for Android cell phones. And if you're familiar with uh, or have used the uh, older model of Nokia, okay, they use uh, Symbian OS. Okay. Next, what are the general responsibilities of a computer engineer? Okay, there are few general responsibilities which a computer engineer must undertake in their job position. So number one, the computer engineer must research information regarding computer operating system, okay, review current operating systems, make uh, changes to systems, and even may develop operating systems of this type. Next, the computer engineer will use his or her knowledge in the fields of computer science, math, and engineering to ensure that they carry out their daily job tasks to the best of their ability. Okay, then, what are the specific duties of a computer engineer? Okay, so a computer engineer has many specific duties uh, relative to his or her job. Okay. Number one, the computer engineer must perform research regarding the computer uh, operating systems. So this relates not only to the current operating system, which the computer engineer works with, but the new concept as well. Okay? So the computer engineer will, will perform a wide array of research in relation to operating systems as a whole. Next, to maintain current operating system within their job field, okay? So this entails checking the systems periodically to ensure that they are working correctly, okay? Monitoring their work consistency and fixing any problems that may arise in, con in, conjunction, in conjunction with the, of course, operating system. Number three, so responsible for maintaining contact with a large number of individuals okay so pertinent people includes customers project managers and other company employees so the contact is important as it keeps everyone in the loop with regard to the various operating systems and provides the computer engineer with feedback okay whether it be of the good or bad variety 
Okay, so number four, some computer engineers may also be supervisors in their field of work. So those who supervise others may be responsible for monitoring the work habits of subordinates, solving problems which may arise, um, preparing schedules, and ensuring that the employees get paid as they are entitled. Then number five, computer engineers may also have quite a bit of administrative duties to tend to during the course of their work. And last, the responsibility of developing programs for the particular operating system which, which, uh, with which they work. Okay, so what are the wonderful traits for computer engineer to possess? Computer engineers have varied duties to fulfill in their job role. So in order to complete the various tasks in the best way possible, there are a few traits which are highly desirable for a computer engineer to possess. Okay, so the first trait uh, which computer engineers should have is a good analytical skills. So thorough analysis is something which a computer engineer must partake in on a frequent basis. Uh, basis, therefore, one who has a good skills of this type will benefit in the end. And number two, another trait which computer engineers, uh, engineers will, will most likely want to have is a wonderful problem-solving skills. So um, part of the job of a computer engineer is to fix any and all problem which may arise. If it turns out that the computer engineer cannot fix the problem, okay, they should have the skills to know whom they can turn to in order to get the problem fixed. Okay, so those who have excellent problem solving skills um, may find that their job role is completed in a much easier fashion. And number three, good communication skills, which uh, will also have or will also come in handy for a computer engineer. Okay, so a computer engineer must converse with many different groups of in individuals in their job role. So therefore, it is easy to see how communication skills will help them to complete their daily tasks and responsibility with greater ease. Okay, number four, computer engineers who are said to be team players may also find that their job is a lot easier overall. Okay, this is due to the fact that many computer engineers do not work in a bubble. So they are surrounded by colleagues and subordinates with whom they must work well with in order to get their job done. If a computer engineer is good, uh, is a good, a good team player, getting the job done in an expedient fashion will be more likely in that case. Okay, number five, an additional positive trait which will come in handy for computer engineers is good speaking skills. So those who are good public speakers will find themselves better able to disseminate information to groups of individuals and get their message across in a clear and concise manner. So efficient public speaking skills are a wonderful trait for computer engineers to possess. So, okay, that's all for my discussion today, class. Thank you and have a nice day.